Hello everybody and welcome back for a new how to build a cannon and this is going to be episode 2 of a total of around 10 episodes I'm pretty sure or it's even going to be less we don't know yet but uh, we are about to figure out how order of entities works and I'm going to try to explain it the best I can and some of you that might already know order of entities might say this is wrong but just wait this is not the final thing there's going to be a lot more to it and this is just um, kind of set you into order of entities and then I will go into more details later so no this is not wrong this is just another way to explain it but let's just start where we left off last time we had uh, we had um, talked about a little bit about concepts of cannons we had talked about hammer down sand compressors and so on and so on and so on and so on so now we have to think about um, order of entities and order of entities is kind of what makes stuff work sometimes and uh, only the only way only way to make them work is doing that but let's just see what we can do here so right now I've set it up and this time I'm gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, order of entities that I already talked about later and that's gonna be one shot nuke and I already have some uh, for these cannon on it so I think that would be the best way to do it so Hang tight guys, because right here is going to be confusing. So, in um, One Shot Nuke, the order of entities is first hammer, slap boss power, then there's a delay, then the sand starts falling into the cobweb, then there's a delay, and then the second hammer uh, uh, ticks and the nuke ticks, and that it happens all while the sand is in the cobweb, and that is what makes it work, and it's going to look something like this when you hit the wall. The slap boss is going to be zero, because that is what fires at first right here, that is going to be the slap boss. Oh, sorry, that is going to be the slap bust. And second on the list is going to be the hammer down, and the hammer down is going to be number two, or sorry, number one, because this one is down to zero. So this is going to be first hammer, and after first hammer, you're going to see that the sand starts falling. So that is the sand right here. And then the second hammer, of course, because of the guider, the second hammer is going to stand right there, and as well the nuke. So how does it work? Why does it work? And why do we need order of entities? So order of entities is made up because that is kind of the order you're going to need it in if you want to succeed in creating a one-shot nuke for an example. So first hammer, and that is what the second one, of course the slap boss is going to tick off first uh, to get rid of the slap. Um, that is what ticks off at first. Then the main hammer down comes out and that is what stacks the sand down. And what explodes after that, whoop, let me go up here again, is going to be the second hammer, which is right here. And right after that comes the nuke. So, why why this, this works is because the order of entity says slap bust, first hammer, second hammer down, and nuke. So, because it has to be in exact that order, is because that the slap bust, of course, you can't stack without, if it has a slap. If there's a slap, you can't stack sand, and that is probably, probably everybody know that. So that is why the slap bust has to go off first. Of course the power is, like the power that fires the thing out of the cannon, but we're not going to talk about that. The first thing that has to be off is going to be the slap bust. Because we want to get rid of the slap bust, and then the first hammer goes off. That is this one right here. And because that goes off second, is because we need the uh, sand to be stacked. Alright? And after that, you're going to see that we are going to have the second hammer down, because the second hammer down is kind of what makes it hybrid. You don't need to scatter on a one-shot nuke, by the way. So that is what hybrids, and at the same time, shoots down the nuke, and nukes it down. And why is this on order of entities? That is because if you can't, you can't change this around. If you put the lay on the slap bust, instead of the, the hammer down here, the, the slap boss will simply explode and fire up the first hammer up or anything above it up and that won't really work so that is why it's important that the first uh, thing on order of entities is going to be the slap boss or else it's going to just going to fire up and it's going to ruin the entire shot the second off is the first hammer and of course the first hammer is going to be off first as like there's a second and there's a first hammer it doesn't really matter what order it goes up in um, you can you can change around with with um, with the with two hammers, but one of them have to go on first. All right, so that that is what I call the first hammer down, and that is what stacks the sand, uh, because you can't really nuke if there's no sand. So that is what's gonna come next. That is the first hammer down that makes it stack. 
Then there is the second hammer down, and the second hammer down has two things it's doing. It is both hybriding, and it is also uh, firing down the nuke. But we can't have the nuke before the second hammer down, because then the nuke will just explode, and the second hammer down will just shoot up in the air and hit the sun. So that is very important that we do it like this. Um, let me just quickly, there you go. And now, and that is important that we get the nuke as well as the last thing. If you don't have that, then of course it's going to shoot up and hit the sun. But um, the nuke is going to be the last thing on the order list here. Uh, that is going to be the nuke. And that is because that is what kind of nukes down the sand. And that is kind of what gives us that nuke effect that we are looking for. So um, that is that is just about order of entities. We're not going to go much into the to the real big deal here, but let's go over to this, because this is kind of an order of entities as well. Uh, this is just some kind of ideas mixed up. Actually, let's go over to this one. This, uh, this is a lot better, better over here. Um, but this also has an order of entities. It's not very important. People don't really talk about it, but you really have it in your mind that you don't really know what order of entities is, but that's because you don't know what order of entities stands for. Order of entities, what stands for is like th different things exploding first and different things ticks first. And you have that on every single cannon you build because what goes first on a cannon? Order of entities, this is number this is number one. Order of entities, this is number this is number two. Order of entities, the slap boss is number three. Order of entities, slap boss, num uh, sorry, hammer down number four. And order of entities, um, the booster here goes with the order booster, by the way. So that is, of course, the first one. And uh, you can see it, it is kind of wide up that way. So this one, when you press this button here, there's just redstone, 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 and there goes the booster. And it's the same with here redstone, 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 no ticks on the repeaters, redstone, 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 no ticks on the repeaters. So that is the booster. That is order of entities number one. Order of entities number two is the, is the power because that goes right after the booster, as you see right here. So that is order of entities number two. So while now the redstone is here, then it follows along here and then order of entities this is number three because that's where the redstone goes order of entities the next one is going to be hammer down that is number four uh, let me think yeah that's probably number four yeah so what goes after the hammer down because we kind of need uh, order of entities to go off correct um then the sand goes in between it, it kind of goes in between um in between the the hammer down here and the scatter so that is the next one coming up that is the order of entities that is the sand and order of entities then is the scatter and this is a big scatter don't worry about it guys but um that is the order of entities for a completely normal cannon and i don't know if you can call it order of entities it just make it sense because you can't have the power go off go off late because then the hammer down will just explode and the power will explode and nothing will happen so that is the order of entities um I hope that that kind of helped you a little bit here and uh, now we have to talk about building a cannon because all this this stuff here gonna need some kind of uh, tick ordering and um, why don't we just go right into this so now that we make this cannon here you need to make sure that the sand here um, is, is correct so and as well as this one so when this one goes off as, as soon as you press the button this one goes off and how long how many ticks does it take before a TNT blows up. I wrote it down in the other descri uh, in description in the other video here, and that was 40 ticks. So how many how many how many ticks or how many repeat full repeaters is 40 ticks? If one repeater is one tick, the repeater itself is one tick, and then one, two, three. So that is four ticks, and four times ten is 40 ticks. So there it is. That is 40 ticks just around 40 ticks, a little bit more, a little bit less, just to make it like work absolutely perfect to shoot into the cannon. And that is just about it. So um, all depending on how much TNT you, you have, you can kind of control how much, how many repeaters you're going to need before the cannon starts firing. And um, th that's stuff you have to mess with and get better with. Uh, so 40 ticks for the sand compressor, um, a little bit more, I, I guess. And and kind of the, the scatter has to come in like in between. It doesn't really matter where when the scatter goes in. Uh, but you, I'm sure that if you mix around with it a little bit, you can make it work. But uh, I think that is just about 
it for the like little cunning guide here. We we do want to make sure that you make it correct. So if you want to do a cannon, you're gonna do it similar to do to what I did here. It all depending on how big the cannon is, of course. But you kind of want a booster for the hammer, and this is the this is the hammer up here. And that booster right there is gonna push everything to one block because you can't really push TNT out if it is like. Uh, that's gonna be TNT all the way out across here, and you can't really have a lot of pistons out there just pushing all the TNT out because the power can't really reach that far. So um, it's very important that you push all the TNT into one block that is right here, and that is why it get pushed out into the barrel, and that is where the power goes off and fires it out of the cannon and it hits the wall and blah 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 blah. So that is that is very important as well. And uh, let's just talk a little bit more about scatter. Because a lot of you guys have issues with scattering uh, on lava and so on. Uh, what you can do is to increase your scatter. And this is this is overkill by the way. But uh, what you can do here is that you, you can um, create something like this. And what you see right here is kind of a um, comparator that just fires like this. Oh, no mind. That was a little bit too... Uh, no, I see how it is. But um, if you may, if you fire that up like that, you see that is why it goes off. Uh, of course, this one, if this one was not here, then you see it goes. Oh God, how can we do this? Um, there you go. That is a normal comparator. This is how many ticks. That is five ticks. It gives, and that is it. But what if you start using comparators to extend? You use this kind of uh, of uh, comparator in your sand compressor as well to like move the pistons out, uh, out of the way from the sand to fall, and then the comparator closes again. This is kind of the same concept here, where you're gonna keep the whetstone. You're gonna keep the whetstone, and it starts ticking. Oh, that was wrong. Let me just quickly fix that. There you go. And you you keep the whetstone. You keep it, you keep it, and it starts ticking. It's the keeps ticking, 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 tick. So it kind of hold, 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 and there it stops. Instead of just the slow one where you where you do this, where it said hold, 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 that's it. There you go. So you see you see the difference in in how many times I could say hold with doing this, and that is just a lot of TNT ticking out right there. That's a lot of TNT, and it's all up to how many. It's all up to how many uh, dispensers you have. You can make a big, big, big hole, and you have to mess around with the ticks a little bit to make it work just perfect. But at the end, you're gonna have something a, a big, 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 big scatter that is gonna look something like this. Let's see if I can see if I can do this. There you go, and it's gonna keep going like that, 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 that. that. And that is just, and it will go down. It will go down with the sand. Um, and that is what makes this big, big, big hole. And that is kind of an increased scatter you can build on your cannon as well. But uh, this time we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, building a cannon than actually adding attachments to it. And I'm going to give you some good ideas to how you can make your cannon the best. And the best way I figured out is on my private collection. And I already went over this once, but I'm going to do it again. And that is kind of where the sand goes right next to the power. The power goes right here. Right next to the power is the sand. Always the sand. So you can call this an order of uh, attach or order of like attachments or what you guys want to call it. But this is the order of attachments where you kind of have the sand first. The next block is gonna be slab bust that is right here, and the next block is gonna be air because you can add uh, left shooters or you can add nuke or whatever you want. You can add that, and then the next block is gonna be. Uh, one shot sand as well as the scatter as well as the hammer now because that all goes up where the where the guider is flat all the way here where the sand is going down below as well as the slap bust um, but this is a nice nice little skeleton of a cannon that you guys probably want to use because that is kind of what gives the best effects and you can do it a little bit different it's your cannon so you can of course tinge it out a little bit but this is kind of how it works out the best uh, in my opinion, and that is what I'm gonna use in the future as well. But um, that is kind of how it is. And now we know a little bit more about order of entities and how building a cannon. And uh, next episode, I'm not sure if we're gonna actually build a cannon on camera because that can take a long time testing it out and such. But uh, we'll figure that out in uh, 
in that episode. But uh, I think that is just about it for for building a cannon. Just remember there is ten repeaters here, and of course you're gonna add um, two on the piston, all depending on your sand compressor, and you're gonna need. Uh, a quick pulse here, and the quick pulse goes into this right here, so the cobwebs kind of get get destroyed really, really fast. Oh, let me just so the cobweb gets destroyed really, really fast like that, so the sand can fall nice and slow, or nice and fast, if you can say so. Um, and as well as always, remember that the boosters always goes first, so the power booster goes first, then comes the booster for the hammer down. Um, yeah, the hammer down, then the, the power goes off, alright, and then after the power, you can kind of see that this is the slap boss going off after that, and after the slap boss, you get the hammer going, and after the hammer down, you can get like the, the sand compressor here to fire out the sand, um, and as well as the scatter here. Uh, goes off in between like the order of entities is kind of easy to understand and all you have to do is just like Use your brain to think what you want to get fired out because you don't really want the hammer down to tick off now And then now you want the power to go off because that would just that would just leave a lot of TNT right here blowing up While the the power is still ticking so the order of the order of entities for a normal cannon It should be easy enough for you guys to understand and uh, I think that you guys should go ahead and try to build your own little cannon here and let's say from you can use like from one or let's use five stacker to two or forty stacker and then be happy to like upload a video about it. Upload a video about your cannon and maybe explain it a little bit. You don't have to have a microphone or anything, but explain it a little bit or take a picture of it or something like that. And then leave it down in the comments and I will I will see if I can get some Get a shout out to one of you guys that I think made the the best cannon, and I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna be facing people that already know how to cannon, but I'll just quickly solve that out. So I know I know how a um, a starter cannon looks like apart from not a starter cannon. So don't worry about that, guys. But you guys that are just fresh started cannoners, just uh, post a video and uh, put the link down in the description, or even take a guess of it, and I will have a look around it, and I will shout out to one of you guys that made the best starter cannon here. But I kind of give you a few tips here of what going first, and the kind of the skeleton here. But I'm not going to go into details, I'm not going to give you a schematic of the skeleton or anything like that, because I want to encourage you to do your own design. I don't want you to copy me. I don't want you to be able to make your own cannon someday without having to replicate or everything I do and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna go into too too much details. I'm quickly just gonna say try out. Like the best thing you can do is just keep trying and trying and trying and trying and at some point you will be able to build your ca uh, yourself a cannon and you'll remember all the ticks uh, and everything so you when you build a cannon you get that boom 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 tick 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 that one goes on full that one go on, it goes on on two ticks that one goes on full tick as well or the slap basket goes on seven full repeaters if you wanted to work it out like that the hammer down because of the close of the wall is going to be on two ticks where you get the best results as well as the slap boss goes on a f uh, and a repeater because it has to go off a little bit before the hammer down and of course the boosters goes first and you're going to have a little bit less more delay on the power so that's going to be a full and two ticks because that will work just per perfect out with my sand compressor and all that shit that is, that is kind of what you're gonna uh, teach yourself you have to teach it to yourself because I can't tell you how many ticks goes on what um, so you have to try it out yourself build yourself a cannon and then put it down in the comments if it's a picture if it's a video I don't really care um, uh, I guess I can easily win over a simple video don't worry about that um, but I think that is just about it. There's not really much to it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the first How to Build a Cannon here. And the next episode is going to be a little bit more into harder stuff. And I hope that you guys will enjoy that as well. But at some point, this is going to be a little bit hard to learn. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of How to Build a Cannon. I hope that you guys will comment or down below with your cannons or if you have any questions of course, you feel free to comment as well. But I'm going to be very, very excited about what you guys figure out. Uh, in cannons and then just post a picture or post a video and put the link in the description and also in the comment and I will have a look at it and we'll see how it goes and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and make your friends subscribe to my channel or make your grandfather or your neighbor just knock on the store say dude just uh, 
subscribe to Dexter 113 he's a nice dude because that is kind of what all of this is about I want to get support from you guys and if you show me support I'll give you guys the schematics and teach you how to cannon and stuff like that but I think that is just about it um, my name is Dexter and uh, I'm out